with World and Iceborne Resurgent. Many hunters have been trying to hunt down Ang, the avatar, I, I mean Alatreon, the master of element. Many struggle to grasp the key to winning this hunt. Have you ever felt that Alatreon is too unfair? Everything is against you. The floor is on fire, the sky is on ice, the air is electric, the dragon is trying to eat you. Then this updated guy is perfect to declean your sphincter a little bit so you don't have to go to a heart surgeon after every failed hunt. In this video, I will show you the tips and tricks do and don't in a solo and in a party hunt against Alachion. Do first. Everyone must bring elemental weapons. At least one hunter should bring the health booster to help with Eschaton judgment. Must bring items are mega potions, potions, honeys, and most important of all, noonberry. Do not forget the noonberry. You should also know the layout of the arena. There are three protruding triangle boulders to Wobang Alachion. They are quite easy to notice. Finally, knowing which element Alachion is in is vital. Orange is fire, purple is dragon, and blue is ice. I will explain what to do in each phase shortly. For the don't, other than don't get hit, <laughs> absolutely do not bring status effect, blast weapon, or do it raw. Also, use Clutch Claw wisely because this is what happens if you just climb to her body without thinking. My mantle disappears into the void faster than the speed necessary to escape a black hole. Now, let's get into detailed breakdown of Alachion faces. This is a simple showing of how it works. In the Blazing Black Twilight special assignment quest, she always start with fire active. All of her attacks will be fire at first. After 4 minutes or so, she will switch to dragon active. The explosion signaling dragon active phase and she starts using lightning. Only in this phase can you break her horn and you must break her horn to stop her from switching element after the first eschaton judgment. If you don't know what phase she is in, you can observe her body's color like I mentioned before. Purple is dragon active, and only in this phase she does the dragon explosion more than once. She switched to dragon active. Now it's the time to focus on breaking the horn ASAP. It should not be too hard since the hell threshold to break the horn is quite low. It's just that the positioning and reach of some weapons like dual blade or sword and shield will take more patience. Or you can just guide her toward one of the boulder and wait for the opportunity to flint shot her there. Do take note that you should not bang her unless when Alachion is in dragon face because she's really fire up once you unleash your load on her face and fly quite often. When she does, it takes a long time for her to come down, thus wasting precious damage dealing time. Once you already bang her into the boulder, she will be enraged and no longer can be flint shot out the sky. So only won't bang her if you need to break the horn in dragon face. Once we see she's toppled and looks like her power is explode out of control, that means we can unclench our budget a little bit because we have just reached the DPS check to survive Eschaton judgment. All we need to do now is chucking down potion like my uncle chucking down a cake of beer on a Friday night. Hell booster and Astera jerky for snacks is always helpful of course. Assuming you deal enough elemental damage and break her horn, you will survive like me while she will stay in fire active. However, if you did not break her horn but still survive, well, tell the handler to prepare your funeral because now she is in ice active and you will surely die at the next Eschaton judgment. You should always aim to tenderize any body parts that you wanted to focus on. The damage difference between wounding Alachon and not is world apart and may very well be the deciding factor of whether you beat her or not. Also, don't forget to break a horn a second time to prevent her from switching element after the second Eschaton judgment. 
And with a second topo, thank Vitalis, I won't have to go to a therapy session anymore. Another neat trick to get some free damage here. Don't be intimidated by the lightning. The lightning pillars only hit directly underneath her feet. So just move slightly in front or slightly to the back of her feet. Then go into town on it. Even the shortest reach weapon will hit. I focus more on the back legs during my solo hunt because it is the safest region to hit while still offering enough damage to negate her elemental power. I will explain more about positioning and body parts breakdown in the party hunt. If you apply the guys in this video and with a bit of practice, you should be able to take down Alachon soon after the second Eschaton judgment. But if you don't, you can still go all in, Bozy style, and kill her before she can do the third Eschaton. You must, for the sake of your sanity, because the alternative is going to bed, knowing that dragon will laugh and mock you for eternity. She's dead. Now, if you excuse me, I need to go to the toilet to change my pen before we dive deep into party hunt. Good thing I wore brow pen. Anyways, for party hunt, all of the rules above are also applied, plus the positioning. Positioning and where to focus on is major contributing factors. In a solo hunt, it might not be that important knowing what to focus on since the DPS check, threshold, and Alachon HP is manageable. However, in a party hunt, the importance of positioning and which parts you should focus on go up proportionally with the size of the party due to multiplier. A quick breakdown of Alachon body's parts. The front legs deal the most elemental damage. Hind legs is the safest region to hit, but also deal a lot less elemental damage. Head is for hornbreak only in dragon face. Tail is for long weapons or sadistic who want her to suffer. You might notice I am no longer focused on hin legs in party hunt of any size since I need to dish out as much elemental damage as quickly as possible. An evidence of the threshold multiplier at work is when in a solo hunt, just one warbang is enough to break her horn. But in a party of two, as you have seen, I had to deal some extra damage on top to break the horn. It would be even more with three and four hunters. With that knowledge, every single hunter must bring elemental weapon to fight Alachon. No exception. Ideally, it should always be the counter element. The special assignment Blazing Black Twilight Quest, Alachon always starts with fire active so Ice Weapon is a staple. If you have a fully augmented Safijiva or Kuv Tarot weapon, then by all means, use them. But if not, you can go for Barriot Ice Weapon. It has a decent amount of ice and raw damage, while spotting a good amount of sharpness and affinity. In a full party hunt, if your team has more than one heavy weapon and at least one light weapon, the positioning should be hammer and hunting horn hitting the head and front legs. Here is an example why hammer should always get the head. That guy just relocates Alachon jaw. The other heavy weapons such as great sword, switch axe or chuck blade focus on front legs to maximize the elemental damage done. The light weapon will target the hind legs since they can hit Alachon much more reliably while also be able to quickly maneuver around her. Tail cutting is welcome, but not necessary since she's always whacking her tail high up like she's in heat. These are all the advice, tips and tricks I can think of to help hunting down Alachon. Is there anything that I missed? Please let me know down in the comment below. And if you're still here and find the video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. It truly helps the channel way more than you know. Stay toasty, hunters, and keep on hunting! Valdor over and out!